Young's modulus is a modulus of elasticity, a number that defines how easily a material can stretch and deform. But why is this number important? For engineering, this number is important when choosing building materials. Here's an example of an experiment you would do in undergraduate physics. This bar could represent a bridge or a road. The more weight you apply to the bridge, the more the bridge deforms. Here's a simpler way we can measure Young's modulus. We will need a micrometer, a caliper, various weights, a meter ruler with some wire, a clamp and a pulley. Using the ruler, we need to measure how long the wire is. Here, I've made a mark at one meter. With the micrometer, we can measure the diameter of the wire at several positions along the length of the wire and take an average in order to determine the area of the wire. Recall that Young's modulus is the stress divided by the strain, where the stress is the force exerted per unit area and the strain is the ratio of the change in length to the initial length. Since we already know the area and the initial length, now all we need is the force and the change in length of the wire. To do this, we need to add a weight to the end of the wire. Recall that force equals gravity times mass, and that means we've got 5.9 newtons. As you can see, the mark has moved. The wire has extended due to the force of the weight. Using a caliper, we can measure this small change. From our measurements, this means that stress and strain are, and our Young's modulus is. For a more accurate reading, it's a good idea to take various measurements with varying weights. By making a plot of stress versus strain, we can get the Young's modulus simply by taking the gradient of the line. Here at the University of Birmingham, researchers use Young's modulus on large scales for turbine systems and jet engines, and on small tiny scales for microcapsules used in pharmaceuticals. So, even though Young's modulus was developed almost 300 years ago, it still underpins cutting edge engineering research that will make tomorrow's vehicles, buildings, and even medicines possible. Mm -hmm.